<clears throat> hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to my channel. This is Shining Light. Shining Light on True Crime. I was in a live tonight. It was a marathon for summer where we was raising money to keep the billboard up after December because that's when it was paid up to okay and it just so happened that the person that we were doing this marathon with and for so that he could continue you know to extend the billboard got a call from somebody making a quote unquote confession and let me tell you where the bullshit lies in this okay if you've ever been on mystery angels channel chip that's my girl i love her I love her to death. She has the most purest heart. If you go and watch her videos, I want to say a month or so back, on her theory about Grandis, you will see that it sounds awfully eerie and close to what this person who called Chase saying the part where the person says the bullshit about summer, somebody going down there picking summer up from the shed, trading her off for, you know, is BS. That was also mentioned in, in Chip's video. I would love for y'all to go over there. Mystery Angels. And the angels is spelled differently. Because she owns her name. It's uh, A-N-G-E-L-E-S. Mystery Angels. Angelus. We'll just say it like that. Um, go over there and listen to some of her theories. Now, I find it kind of coincidental that all this drama happens, A, while that was going on, B, Don really didn't want the billboard up. He was already mad about the reward amount being on there. He doesn't want it on there. C, all the people that has been on Ziggy's live, Don has called and interrupted Every time they were touching certain subjects to try to cause a distraction. And then he moves on to another creator's channel. When that person who's live, we was on Ziggy's, didn't pay him no mind. Because we was in the middle of listening to someone break down something that was on there last night. Okay? Now, if you remember back to the vigil that was held for her two weeks ago by... Nita's world, she put all that together, her and her team. There was some drama there with a content creator named Cameron. I, 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 guess, I think that's his name, Cameron. Accusing Chase, the same person, of stealing money. That same money that went towards the billboard, right? So if all this isn't making sense after I broke it down, then this next part is going to shock you even more. Also, all this drama, all this buzz on social media, just in time for their Dr. Phil appearance to show. So it can get a lot of buzz and play. Hello? Is anybody listening out there? Or do I hear crickets chirping? If this all doesn't make sense to you, it will. While I was in Mystery Angels Live as well, um, 
I'm I'm not going to mention his name because I'm just not. It's going to cause a lot of controversy. But it's who John spends most of his time on panel with now. And not even supposed to have a channel. Just put it to you that way. And you got Chris McDonough banned and lied. Called the cops on him. All kinds of horrible things. And he also called the cops on Chase, too. So, I found it kind of weird that he invited Chase up on his panel tonight as well. At the same time, all this stuff was going on <clears throat> to help him. Now, I'm not blaming Chase. I'm not saying he's in the wrong, because he's not. It wasn't his fault that... These idiots are out here causing a distraction and working so hard against everyone <clears throat> who's actually out here trying to find his baby girl. If they put as much energy into finding their daughter as they are as... Um, working against finding her. Then the spotlight wouldn't be on them. But the fact that they go on these panels. And the fact that we've seen how well they act. With the crying. Being upset. The cussing. And they're so good. They're master manipulators. They are compulsive liars. So that's how they're able to keep their stories. See, I dated a compulsive liar. But everybody has that one habit that they do when they're lying. And Mr. Wells, his thing that he does when he lies is he takes big gulps. He'll work around the question and avoid it. Or he'll say he can't remember or he don't know. And he'll bring up the fact that he was at work that day. Why he's still trying to make everyone believe and fighting to make everyone believe that he was at work that day. If you were at work that day, you wouldn't need to have to prove yourself, buddy. See, they don't bother me. I'm not scared of them. I truly want summer found. And I feel like the reason why they don't want her found is when she is found, a lot of things that will be revealed and come to the light. It's been hidden in the dark for so long. See, you can only do this a certain amount of times before what you do when the wash comes out in the dry. <clears throat> Great job, you guys. In getting everyone to dislike Chase by sending some person that you know to set up this plot to for a distraction so that way that billboard won't go up and won't be extended what are you so afraid of about that billboard is what i would like to know first of all if you have nothing to hide and nothing to lose and you didn't have a hand in anything and your hands are clean then why are you worried about a billboard with the reward amount See, y'all think y'all can fool somebody. Y'all want that six months to come up so that that money can go crookedly into the pockets of the ones that are working so hard not doing anything to find her. And I also find it odd that once the amount for... The reward fund 
got higher, that this happened as well. See, they think they're slick. Nobody catches on or pays attention. But what you don't know about me, and this is why I'm so into true crime, it's because I'm very observant. See, you won't even know I'm even in your chat because I won't say nothing. <clears throat> I'll just sit back and be quiet and observe. But I did find it kind of odd how that one particular person who is the Wells' manager now came over to that live after disgustingly talking about Chip who is an autistic woman and she has a lot of health conditions and learning difficulties. So that lets you know right there if he's talking about an adult with issues like that how he would talk to, about a child like that. And for those of you who think he's all about Summer Wells, no, he's not. I got videos on here proving it, that he's not. Like I said, just go check out the videos on Mystery Angel's channel. Let her know that I sent you over there. Like I said, she's a lovely person. She's the one that bought the constellation for summer. And went through a lot. But she explains that too. This is no coincidence. The question we need to be asking is where is Summer? And why don't they want her found? Because this claim that all of a sudden Grandis took her but wasn't it weeks ago that Grandis came out and said that she was sick? Summer was sick, this, that, and the third. So why are we getting three different stories here? Why are we getting she was abducted, she was sick, and now Grandis has her? I've never heard so many inconsistencies in my whole life and the police still just sit back and, and do nothing about it. But it's okay. Because their time is coming soon. And there's also a reason why Candace hides in the background. Y'all are entitled to feel sorry for her, but I don't. She hides for a reason. Dawn keeps her out of the spotlight for a reason. Ask yourself why. And why is it? That they come out and say that they're going to call the police on each other. What is it that they have on each other is what I would like to know. See, a person who claims they're so afraid of going back to prison. That they would do anything to not go back. But yet you're steadily committing heinous crimes. 
let me just throw this in here allegedly everything i say in this video is my opinion and my opinion only everything is allegedly any perpetrators or suspects named in this video is innocent until proven guilty in the court of law i'm not here to argue I'm not here for drama, any negativity will be blocked. I do value other people's opinions, whether they be different or indifferent, they're more than welcome, but there's a level of respect. People please sit down and do your homework. Please go look at all these different con uh, content creators' videos and see what they're talking about. Everybody's saying the same thing. And uh, given they are just our opinions and theories and assumptions. But when you have a history of certain things and a background of certain things, people never change. They may persuade people to think they are or have, but they haven't. Proof is out there, you guys. You just have to look for it. Please comment down below and tell me what you think. Do you think this was a coincidence? Or am I tripping? I hope everyone has a blessed night. Peace, love, blessings. Be safe. And remember, distractions. Remember that word. Distractions. This is what they want. They want a media shit show. So it can hype up their. Dr. Phil. Episode. But let's ask ourselves this last question. Before I go. Did Gabby Petito's family do anything like that. When they went on there. Didn't think so. So this lets you know. What it's all about for them. Power, fame, and money. What it was set out to be in the beginning. Think about it. I love you, crime babes. And again, I value everybody's opinion. It's just the disrespect I won't tolerate. If you're going to send hate because I'm talking about a certain individual, then you can carry your ass over to the, another, to the next channel. Because I really don't care. Because I can tell you right now, I'm probably not the only one that feels this way. And I'm not the only one that caught on to this. Because not only did I, but a few others in chat all said this at the same time. And even Griffey, Chip's manager, caught on to it too. Please don't let them fool you with this story because it's not the truth. Think about how many stories we done had, how many they done <clears throat> came out with to try to change the narrative, to try to bring their name up. If this is how you want fame, then all of y'all going around attacking these content creators that y'all claim are making money off of the back of summer. Y'all are just as disgusting then, if that's how you feel. I don't feel that way. Because it takes a lot of time and energy. Not to mention the sleepless nights and the research that every one of us do that we put into these videos. Just to find your daughter, who you should be the one looking for, passing flyers out for, screaming on television for, 
not none of that acting. Because I see right through you. Clear as glass. Again, everybody be safe. If you are going trick-or-treating, please be extra precautious. Make sure you keep a close eye on your baby. Because our babies are being targeted. I love y'all. Good night. I'm going to take my tired behind in the bed. I hope y'all sleep well. And I'll pray for each and every one of y'all. Much love and respect. I'm out.